Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and a warm welcome to all of you who are returning and for all of your love, support, and kind comments. And for those of you who are newly subscribed, a special thank you. Uh, as you may not know, I am working very hard to get to 3,000 subscribers. Uh, during the month of April, I've got a long way to go. So every single one of your subscriptions really is meaningful. And today what we are going to do is we're going to revisit a video that I did quite some time ago where I uh, showed you many, many, many ways to use bread tabs for various projects. Look at my fingers. This is how hard I've been working because I've been working on stuff. Uh, and I have another one that I want to show you. So we're going to do that. What you will need before I do a little show and tell, I'm going to wipe my hands off, perhaps, uh, is you will need some bread tabs like these. And you will also need some scissors. If you've got uh, jewelry findings like <clears throat> such as these that would be helpful although if you don't you could use a paper or paper clip a um <laughs> safety pin you could use bulb pins <clears throat> and you may also need some eyelets you don't have to but they're nice to have if you do have them so while i'm doing my show and of course you're going to need some paper and some glue and maybe some scissors but that's about it let's see if i can get this I got glue everywhere because I was working on lots of projects. So for all of you who uh, joined yesterday uh, for our first inaugural play date, and those are a monthly event, hopefully they'll be more uh, frequent, where I host <clears throat> a guest, sometimes more than one guest, <clears throat> on my channel, and we just have a chat uh, it depends on, you know, who the guest is in the future. If it's someone who's a crafter, maybe a reseller, uh, whatever that guest uh, is into, whether it be on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, TikTok, um, I will be inviting folks along to learn more about uh, those individuals, their craft, their art, their business, whatever that might be. And we're just going to have a good time. But yesterday, because I'm now behind again on my videos, <laughs> and I was hoping to get out the, the blog or the vlog today, and that didn't happen. So this is going to be my Monday video. But yesterday was our first date, and uh, it was so heartwarming. Uh, Kara from Paper Confessions with Kara Mia was on, along with BB from BB's Closet Creations, and we just had a great time. And ladies, if you're watching, thank you again. And for all of you who participated, I, I felt like I got to know all of you a little bit better too. And that was just awesome. So thank you. Enough about that. I, I won't talk about it anymore, but I really did have a good time. So let me put all of this aside, all of my little bread tabs, and I'll show you what I've been working on. So I did get all of the journals are up on Etsy. They're all finished. Everything is done. All the photos are taken and it's a glorious thing. So yesterday when we were doing, uh, all we did, we didn't do anything difficult. We just collaged and I did uh, some work in my uh, tea time journal because I really want to get it done. But uh, one of the things that I had out was this is my cluster book, which I'll show you. And then I was also working on, at the end of the time, our time together yesterday, I got out, these are the ones that I did, um, we did a video on it where I, this isn't a business card, but we put the business cards together and then I covered them all and then embellished them all. And I had a couple of, I think they were four, eight, there must've been 12 in a, I don't remember eight or 12. I don't remember. Uh, all together. And so I wanted to get work on those. So I didn't get very far yesterday, but I did finish them up. So there's uh, the first six that I finished up. And these are literally on old business cards. And I just covered them with some of my, I don't know if it's my Kool-Aid or 
I'm not sure what dye I used on that, but I, uh, I think it was Kool-Aid. Dyed papers, and then I just embellished them. These, all of these, uh, I have a book that is in my travel and crafter uh, stuff. And it has a lot of old advertisements, lots of black and whites, just a few colors. And so I, when Dave was in the hospital, I had my watercolor pencils and so our pens, markers. And I went through and did these ladies one day when I was sitting there. So I had all of this stuff kind of in my pile, some things over here that just needed to get used up. And I finished those up uh, last night and then a couple of them this morning. And then I started dabbling in more of this and I ended up adding because I had my this probably needs to be put back together more but more better um when I was using all of you know making the collage and the little clusters and all of that good stuff I had lots of the uh, tissue from the pattern. So I added another one of these and my, my cluster book is very different, um, than Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah did. She did hers like this with an old piece of, uh, scrapbook paper she didn't like. She did a whole bunch of them, sewed them together, and then she used these. Well, I decided when I did mine, it might be easier for me because I had plenty of large pieces that were, good for bases, but I would just take all the stuff that was in my um, scrap bin, like a lot of my, well, this is, uh, this was dresser liner, and then these were just things that were in, and this is the, um, hello, freezer paper, and it was underneath some, a project I did. This was just a piece of random music. This was a piece of, uh, this is... I think this is music roll. Uh, what is this? Why is this there? I don't know. Did we need to use it somewhere? This is deli paper that I dyed. And pattern directions. This is more uh, deli paper. This is when we printed. This is the off print of when we worked on parchment. This is was the in the bottom of. Uh, one of my trays when I was coffee dyeing paper. By the way, parchment, you gotta really glue it down with Fabri-Tac because things don't stick to it. Uh, more music roll with some random things. And so you can see they're in different stages. Uh, this is just some dictionary page. And this is a vintage piece of paper. So I, you know, I started slapping some things down, kind of added. <coughs> additional layers. This one fell out, but it's one of my favorites. And here's what happened. I didn't do it once. I did it twice. I think we'll get to it, but I'll show you in a second when we get to that page. These, um, they were a little too juvenile. These I put down when I was in Omaha. I, they came in, I was cleaning everything out and I found these and I think they were, nope, they weren't. They were just die cuts. But I liked the shape of them, so I need to find something else to go over these. I mean, I could use them in a, you know, seaside journal or something like that, but I think I can do something different with them. Um, more dictionary, more book page, but the, you can see, like, they're all, a lot of them are ready to go. Some of them could stand to have a little bit of added to them. These I just started layering up. Here's some more of those that... These are kind of big, big ones that would actually make a nice pocket. But my my thought was, if I had these large bases, why not use these up and maybe not have such a large scrap kit, scrap box, and kind of use them for something else and directly on here. So that is, that was, it's not as pretty as Tina's was. So hers could sit on a shelf and look beautiful. Mine's going to be in this file, uh, hanging file folder, and I'm going to pull it out. Um, this one, these were all um, in, I, got, I don't know where I got them. I'm sure I got them at a thrift shop somewhere, but I love them. And so I just added those to some some lace. Where is that one that I totally, did I not, I don't know. These we, I made, uh, these are just labels that I had. And I did some stamping on them. And I think these were 
just, I had done some stamping and then I just stamped off on those. So I had all of those. Those are ready to go. So it's that one. And I think the rest is all blank. Yep. So I still have some pages to work on. Well, while I was doing this, in true Angela fashion, I squirreled. And then I had all of these, <laughs> all of these scraps. And so I started making flowers. And you know, these are one of my favorite things to make. They're super easy. I have a tutorial on these, but these are the two that I did uh, just with scraps, random scraps that I had. And what I was going to show you, and I guess I can't find the page, is if you're going to do a cluster book, pay attention to which side you've already glued items to because I glued to both sides, not once, but twice. So yeah, this is the one that I liked and this is, I had already glued these down. So there's that. But that's fine. I will use it somewhere. So I'm going to stick this back in here. <clears throat> and then I am working on, we're going to do another tutorial. Well, not really a tutorial, probably just a craft with me. Uh, these were all from, one of the things that I did is uh, the my creative studio, um, your creative studio, <laughs> uh, packaging. I had a bunch of it and I started to work on uh, some different little um, envelopes covering them since I was like, well, they're so, they're so nice. I need to be able to use them. Uh, and then I made this one, which sparked me to go down an entirely different rabbit hole. So now I am working on a digital that I'm hopeful. It j it's, it's got a lot of work. I need to tweak it. But then I want to do this as a tutorial slash craft along. And then I will have a digital that will, I think, go along with it. So that's what I'm playing it. But it's, it needs some work. I just did it this morning and I was like, I, I don't know. So there you go. A day in my life of randomness. So here's what we are going to do. I, um, we made these as magnets. I used this, you know, to hold my um, paint. And I used them to put little pieces of embroidery floss on. And this one I just covered, I think I covered this with just washi tape and made it into a magnet. And then I had a whole bunch of other things. Well, one thing I also did yesterday um, before we went live is I cleaned out my, um, this needs to go somewhere. I'm just going to put it somewhere. Let's find a place for it. Uh, I cleaned out my, sort of cleaned out my pantry. I cleaned out the bread drawer. It's really a bread tote box thing. And I found a whole bunch more of these. And so I thought, well, what could I do with them that I haven't already done? And then I just sat there and looked at it. <laughs> and what I came up with, I think is going to be kind of fun. And that is we are going to make tabs out of them. We're going to embrace the little wanky little hole that's in there. And we're going to use some eyelets to make these cutie patooties. How about that? That's what we're going to do. And I think you'll like them. So now you're going to be scrounging for bread tabs. Because this is probably, I mean, of all of the things that I've used these for in the past, I think this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, but, you know, you can be the judge. So this is one that I finished, <clears throat> and what I did is I covered this with just, this is one of my digitals I'm working on, and then I punched a hole with my uh, paper punch. I kind of held it up to the light so I could see through um, after I had put the paper on here, and then I simply added a little bit, a little dangle, which I re realized I'm like really low on dangles. I've sold some of them at my live sales and I don't have any for my sales. So I need to make some. And then I simply just glued it on there. That was it. And it's nice and heavy and very durable. But imagine, you know, you could put those here and there all the way down your journal periodically too. You don't have to just use them on tabs. So we're going to make some and I'm going to show you uh, how I did them. So once again, you're going to need, maybe need some tools in a, in a little bit, but to begin with, you just need to find some bread tabs and weirdly, uh, <clears throat> I found a lot of them and I don't know how, 
how they all end up in the bottom of the bread box, but apparently they do. So here are two more that I did. This is another, uh, another digital I'm working on. So I did that one and that little one, and they're all kind of different shapes, but they are so easy to make and you can whip these out in no time. But as I was making them, then I had another thought. So we're going to try all of these, but I'm going to show you first the very simple way in which I made these. So let's go ahead and do I care which one I'm going to, let's use this yucky one because it's kind of broken. See, and I want to make sure it, it works. A lot of them like this one, <clears throat> you can tell it's a heart shaped, but some of them are just like, like there's a heart shaped one. But a lot of them are just like kind of Mickey Mouse-ish. So, you, you know, they're all a little bit different. But all you're going to do, let's take a really thin, and the thinner the paper, the better, I realized. However, I did get a piece of this. This is one I embossed and I thought we would try it. Um, so all you're going to do, all I did, was I made sure that when I was going to fold, well, you could do it this way. Let, let's see. Let's look at our flowers here. Are this not flowers, is it? So let's see. I want this part to be, this will be at the top. So when it folds over, there we go. No, nope. I need to go this way. There we go. Okay. So all I did was I put the glue. I got you guys really high up here. So let me make sure you can see me. Oh, sure. I got lots of room. I'm using this. This was my travel fabric tack and half of it went all over in my bag. Yeah, there was that. And so I took it out of my bag and I thought, well, I'm just going to use it up and I'll just grab one every time I go. So I don't have that problem. Because I just left it in there, you know. I should have just put it in a bag by itself. Okay, you glue it down. <laughs> and then you glue it down here. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to glue all of ours down. We're, we're going to do this in steps. So we're kind of mass making this. So you guys can do this with me. And if you want to pause, you can go run and get your supplies and scrounge in your, in your bread drawer <laughs> or basket or pantry or whatever it is that you have. And then I just made sure it was lined up and I just kind of, not kind of, I just folded it in half. And then what I did is I kind of looked, I know you can't see me doing this, but I looked up in, up in the sky. I looked up Put it to the light. I was actually upstairs when I was doing this and tried to get as close to, I'm doing it again. I shouldn't be using these good scissors. I'm just getting as close to the edge as I can. And we'll do that all first. And that way you don't have any runny edges running over. I'm just holding this up again. I think that's okay. But there we go. So let's just do another one. Let's try one of these. This is because this is the other thing I thought we could do. Is, let's just do it. <clears throat> we could... This is going to be hard to see, though. We're just going to try it. I haven't done this, so we're just going to experiment. And I'm going to have to let this sit for a while. I won't even cut it until it sits because this is cardstock, which isn't ideal, really, to use because it's so much thicker. But my thought was... Let's do it this way. To put it right on the tag to begin with. Because, I mean, that's pretty sturdy. 
okay. And then, ooh, see what I'm saying with this glue? Oof. But with this, we probably need it a lot anyway. I'm getting a little carried away with it, but I'm trying to use it up. And then, oh, Demi's home and I did not tell her I was doing a video. <clears throat> Her 17-year-old world is not falling because she didn't come in going, Mom, Mommy. <laughs> so everything must be good. She must have had a good day. Okay, we're going to let that sit just like it is. I want to make sure, though. Oop. Yeah, this might be a little tricky, but I just wanted to try it just the same because I think it looks really cool with that. That's just one of my collage master boards. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Then, what I was thinking while I was doing these little bad boys is, oh my gosh, why don't I use my washi tape? And I have a video on how to do this. So I'm like, well, we're going to try it and see what happens. But this has to be way easier, one would think, right? So I like to have the fold at the top there so you know because this is really you know it moves so that that's the whole reason for that let's see let's see if i can get this off here this might be kind of see-through maybe i should have used eh, it won't hurt so i'm going right to the edge of that and remember i'm cutting off i'm going to cut this kind of close so those little pieces that are popping out, you won't be able to tell that this was once a bread tab, okay? And then we're just going to cut this. You can kind of tell it's, you can kind of see the yellow through there, but that's all right. There's some extra. Throw that away. And then we're just going to cut. And now I don't have to use glue at all. How about those bananas? And look how quick these are. There we go. There's another one. It'd probably be quicker if I wasn't talking. All right, let's do one. Let's do one with the... How should we do this one? I think right there. Okay, so... I'm just going to cut this to begin with. And if you guys haven't seen the video on where I make um, all of my washi and my distressed or old old looking vintage tape using double sided tape um, I think it's on the 15 minute ephemera playlist you should be able to find it there okay why isn't this coming off come on We'll go for this first. If this doesn't work, there we go. All right, so this I want to be. She's going to come down here. I can hear her. She's. Okay, there we go. Cute little daisies, although the daisies aren't even going to show on that one. Hardly. I like this process. Works away. Do you think that she'll realize, get the hint, when I don't answer her? Mama. Mom. Mommy. Mama. She still does it. <laughs> she must need something. Whoa. Demi, thought she was down here. I'm just trimming those off. Now I got to figure out where the. There it is. It's right there on the top. Okay, let's make sure all of these are top top. Mm, I think this is the top. 
There we go. Okay. What do we have left? We have two more. Let's do this one. My nails are really nasty. Oh, that's not... Oh, wait a minute. This one isn't on, is it? I don't... This is not... This is not tape. Is it? No, it's not. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> and this isn't either. This was just in there as... Let's see. So we've got to go this way. This was just in there. As an extra piece. This was one of my digitals, the one that took me forever to do. So I guess I only had the two pieces of washi. this up so I can call her and be like, where did, where are you going? What are you doing? Who are you going to be with? So simple. So I'd say this would be a great traveling craft and it would be one that you could just take on the road with you and have some fun. Well, let's see. This one's too small. Will this one fit? Yeah, we can do this one again. Why not? Well, come on. Hope you guys are all having a, a lovely Monday. Like I said, I usually do my get my videos out first thing in the morning, really early in the morning. And I'm usually always ahead, but I'm not. So, I'm just giving myself some grace. Right? I'm just going to roll that right around because it's got some... The other one, it was all white, but this one has some... I know where she's going. She's going to the gym. So Mondays is her day. Gosh, is it that time of day already? To go to the gym, to her uncle's gym and at CrossFit. And she works out there. I forgot. Okay, so the next thing I do or did was grunged them up a little bit. <clears throat> These might have been cuter with a different color rather than, but I just had this handy and my hands are already all inky. Okay, they're still, I'm just trying to make sure they're still the right way up. And I'm only doing one side inking them just for the sake of showing you all this. This was the regular paper. So regular paper. Washi, washi, regular paper, washi, cardstock. Now, I am not going to distress that one. So, let's see. Okay, this is going to be... I think I'm going to have to use get out the big guns for this and use the... Because I'm not going to be able to see through this to make sure that I'm in the... Oh, well, I must have got there, sort of. <laughs> Okay, so that one's done. Now let's see. I'm going to hold this up just so I can... I know you can't see that, but I can see... Ouch. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this up. I can, can see right through it. And the washi, remember, is probably going to be... Um, you're going to have to kind of pull it off because it's sticky. Okay, so we got that one done. Now I bet I won't be able to see... This one's dark, but I can kind of feel feel it. Wait, did I? Yeah, 
I'm good. Yep, perfect. Well, I'm two for three for three, actually. See, can you see? Can you see through? <laughs> I don't know if you can or not. But it's really easy with this light washi to see through it. There we go. Now this one, you got to pull that off. There's another one. Ooh, this one's farther, way farther down. That's weird. That's fine. And last but not least, this one's also going to be, I just, I'm going to have to use my spidey senses. Yay! Well, that was a win. Oh, I need this out, don't I? I forgot. You're probably going to need an eyelet setter if you don't have a crop, crop a dial. Okay. Now all we got to do, uh-oh, is pop in some eyelets. So we need to pick them out first. Oh, Zenny, please. No one is here. I don't know why she's barking. Um. Well, I, I made these small. And last time when I did this, I made, I used the regular hole punch, which I kind of liked because I liked the I think they'll still work, though, with the small one. Maybe I'll try a couple with each. All right, let me just get, let me just pick these all out here. Let's try. And this is what an eyelet setter looks like if you don't have a crop dial. So you put this down like this, and then you tap it. Do you like how I did that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll work. That works fine. Let's use a bigger one for this green one. Just to make them different. And the reason that they work like that, I don't know that the, we're going to try it with a small one just because I want to, but um, do we have a pink one? Oh, let's try this piece. I remember I tried these before and they didn't work so hot, but Somebody told me I th they think that I needed another piece for it. That doesn't look very good, though. Let's try it on this one. There we go. And let's just do... What color shall we do? I don't have pink. What's this? I don't know. Well, I think we should do purple on this one because... There's purple in this kind of flunky... Now, why won't this fit? There we go. Okay, we just need this one. How about we do a small one in this one? We'll do turquoise. All right, so we've got these all lined up. So we're going to start with the large ones because this is already on the large punch. I'm leaving this out just in the off chance that I lose a, an eyelet. Okay. Very nicely done. All right, this one's probably going to give me a headache, so let's do this one next. Oh, come on. Did that work that? Look at that. Ta did. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's think about this for a travel craft. All you would need is a lot of bread tabs, so you're going to have to, you know, ask your neighbors. Save your bread tabs. I do have another project bread related that we're going to do. Okay, now I got to turn this for the smaller one. Uh -oh. There we go. Uh, you're going to need bread tabs. You're going to need some eyelets if you ch so choose. You don't have to. You can just punch holes in them if you want. You're going to need some paper and or washi tape. And you're going to need an eyelet setter or a crop dial. Um, of course, I'm not considering all of the other things like your normal staples, glue, etc. But for this, and then you know, if you want to make dangles, you can do it now or you can do it do it later. Okay, so we got all of that done. Now the next thing we're going to do 
is add something that we can attach things to it later at a later date because I really don't have anything to add to it right now. So, um, we're going to do a few. I have some of these. Okay, so I accidentally bought all of these. These are like, would be like what you'd put a key on. Like your key. <laughs> your keys. Keys. And I don't want them to go to waste. So, I'm going to use them. There we go. So, let's see <clears throat> what I've got. And then we will, I'm going to open this kind of over here. I don't know if you can see this. So, so far, let's see what the, we'll start with that one. This isn't the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Because these jump rings and lobster claws are really tiny. Sorry. I wanted this one. All right. I know for a fact that... These are really easy to get on here. They're kind of the cheapy ones. But I'm going to try to put several on there because this is too far. I think it's too far away for just that one. So we'll put a few of them on here. Can you guys see that? No, of course you can't. I'm just going to put them on there like that for now. These are probably too big. Okay. You see how cheaply they just, it's just really hard for you to see, I know. I always say when I'm working on anything bead related, give me some grace, show me some grace. But there you have it, you can at least see I've got three of them on there. So now when I find a dangle, I can put those on there. Okay, so that one's done. Let's do something larger with this one. <clears throat> These are not the easiest to get open. But since my nails are already a mess today, <laughs> why not? I don't know. Come on. Oh, I hate these things. But I'm bound and determined to use them. Come on. Oh, no, you did not. There we go. Actually, that's kind of cool like that. Oh, did I? Speaking of nails, I think I am like on the home stretch that I can start letting them grow out instead of cutting them off every few days. I'm telling you, getting your nails done is hard on your real nail when you decide you're not going to do that anymore. Really hard. Oh, I hate these things. I don't think I'm going to use another one of these. Let's just say that for today. See that? What a mess. I'll have to work on that later. Not doing that again. Okay. <laughs> now these are really heavy duty. Yeah, I don't know that I have any any dangles that would work For oh, any of these, but we'll see. Where is this at? Oops, I might have done that too far. This one might need two.
Let's get another one. Just like the other one. I got so many of these things that are... <laughs> oh, I'm so irritated with myself. What color should we... Do we have a little... Here's a pink one. I'll put that on here. I don't know what I... I don't know. I must just not have read... I bought them on Amazon. There we go. Four down. Two to go. Actually, five down. No. How many did we do? I don't know. Okay, this one is going to need a huge one. Hmm. see. Come on. Where is it open? I don't even know. There we go. That one's good. Oh my gosh. Zenny. She scares me every single time. She barks because she hardly ever barks. Usually she only barks when you know who is here, which you know who is not here today. She went home with her father. I'm going to add one more. Well, let's look. Let's see what we've got in our little dangle box, which is, like I said, not much. So we got, I know that these that I did the other day don't. And that one's done. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, those are dangles, but they're way too big. Man, I just cannot get rid of this little tickle. Okay, what's this? Christmas. I think all of these are way too big. Well, I got this little thing that's not really a dangle, but it's a it's like a fabric clustery thing. Will that go anywhere? Nah, too big. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that fit, fits the fits the bill. They're all way too big. Uh, no, see? Too big. Look at these. Humongo. Hmm. And this little one, this one would probably go here. Let's put it on a bulb pin. What did I do with those? Well, we'll put that there. I'll find my bulb pins in a minute. I'm going to look one more time. Oh, what's this? Yeah, that would work there. I can stick that on there. Yay. These are earrings. Okay. Stop looking. Start putting things on there. You know, you could also do like a... <clears throat> piece of ribbon. Anything would work, but we'll just put... Am I losing my mind? Well, that's not surprising if I am. Okay, here they are. Jeez, please. They were buried. Alright, so let's just use this for the sake of... For time's sake. We'll just use a bulb pin... Pop that on there. Instant dangle. So now we got a tab with a dangle. Love it. Let's do this one too. But this one, I think we can use a pretty color. Let's use pink. Ooh, that looks like it might come off there. There we go.
Here we go. So at least a couple of them have. Yeah. So, so simple. I hope you guys try it. You know, before you go throwing out your bread ties or bread tabs. Here's a little sample of what you can do with them. Fun! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you very soon. I have my first, uh, my first package came, my Happy Nail, for my, uh, Turning 3K on my birthday giveaway. And so I need to go through that and show you guys what I got. And if you, um, are wishing to participate, it, you've got plenty of time. Uh, you can make sure that you can do it right on this uh, video and just put in the hashtag turning 3K on my, and the word three, and then birthday is B-D-A-Y, and then you will be entered to win. You can do for another entry. You can do it on Instagram. And if you're so inclined to send me uh, something fun for me to use in the journal that I'm giving away and for me to... Um, have a play with, then you can send that to the address that's in the description box. Or if you've ordered from me, uh, or we've corresponded in happy mail, you can send it to that address as well. So friends, until next time, remember to take time to just be, I'm so glad that you had taken time out of your day to spend with me and we'll see you next time. Cheers.